Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, we have an awesome unboxing this week. I'm super excited because we took care of the Lenovo Think System SR550 and we did a live stream. And this week we have the SR570, which is a 1U rack. Lenovo hooked me up with this one. I believe they gave me 64 gigs of memory, dual processor. I believe it's the 5118 Intel Xeon processor. I have to double check on that. Off the bat, I'm assuming it has Windows Server 2016, but when we do the live stream slash review on the SR570, we're going to wipe it clean and uh, install VMware. Uh, so that's, I'm super excited. And then we're going to add it to the SR550. So, oh, I'm super excited. So, all right, let's uh, unbox this guy, take a look, hook it up to a monitor, and then boot it up. All right, so what comes inside that huge box? Uh, first things first, it does come with a uh, rack rail kit, also a plus. Uh, a lot of companies, especially Dell, you have to purchase this guy separate. It's uh, an additional add-on. I think with Lenovo servers, it comes with it, I'm assuming, all right? Uh, I'm a huge Dell person, and my nine to five job, we just purchased Dells and when we're purchasing a, a Dell server, we have to make sure we're purchasing the rail kit. It's like an extra 300, 400 bucks. That's nuts. Uh, we have the rack installation guide that comes inside that box with the two rails. We have a warranty and safety kind of little booklet for Lenovo. Comes with two power supplies. So that basically means what? We have two power supplies hooked up to it. It's not like the SR550 that we received a while back. I only have one power supply. This guy actually has two of them. Let's see if I could remove them. And like locked in there. There you go. One and two. So we got two power supplies. Awesome. And they are 750 watts each. So that's great. When you're purchasing a server, always get two power supplies. It is always a good thing to have two power supplies because if one fails, the other one will take over until you replace it. Redundancy is key when it comes down to servers. Now let's put the power cables to the side and automatically I'm loving the size of it. It's super light. Again, it's a one rack U um, server. It is running an Intel Xeon uh, dual core 5118 with 64 gigs awesome but i'm disappointed already because it comes with only one hard drive come on you can't really do much with one hard drive so it looks like they gave us a uh a 480 gig solid state drive sata 6.0 gigabits per second all right so the game plan with this during the live stream will be the following we will create a bootable flash drive to install VMware ESXi uh, into the flash drive, boot into that, use this to create virtual machines. I am going to create it like a vCenter, and the vCenter is going to manage the SR570 as well as the SR550. Now for ports and features, this guy has a lot of ports and features. On the front side, it looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, bays which are the small ones for solid state drives this guy right here will allow you to expand the bays so two four six eight ten ten drive bays in total that's awesome uh you have your power button right here you have your maintenance port right here looks like you could have an optional vga port on the front panel uh but it's blocked and it looks like a 3.0 or 3.1 usb awesome Cool. On the back side, uh, it looks like we have one management port, two Ethernet ports, RJ45, your VGA, which we are going to hook up a monitor uh, pretty soon so we can boot this guy up. Two additional 3.1 or 3.0 USB ports. I don't have 
the slightest clue what's the bus speed on these USBs. So I'm assuming it's either 3.1 or 3.0. Uh, and then you have your two power supplies, which are 750 watts. Awesome. So I'm going to open this guy up. Let's take a closer look. See how it looks, all right? All right, so what's inside? You got a lot of cool, awesome things. Uh, you got the dual processors right there. It looks like it gives us two DIMMs. So we have a 32 gig uh, stick on both sides. That means this 32 gig is for this processor and this 32 gig uh, card is for this processor. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Comes with one, two, three, four, five, six fans. Three fans for this channel, for this CPU. Uh, I believe this is CPU one, right? CPU one, I think. So if I'm looking at the map, yep, CPU one, CPU two. These three fans are for CPU two. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. Loving it. The cool thing is that uh, this particular SR570 server does have the full channel on for to hook up all the 12, what is it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 bays, uh, meaning like the controller doesn't stop here. You still have your connection for solid state drives for this, 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 and this, all four. That's awesome. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Yep. Awesome. That's cool. I think on the SR550, the controller for the SATA only had uh, the first two slots. This one right here has all the slots, so I could expand it. I'm not going to spend any money on a uh, review unit, but, you know, uh, it has a total of 16 DIMM slots. And I don't know the capacity of the memory as of yet, but definitely we're going to go over it during the review when we do the live stream. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to get this guy. It is super light. Now over here, it looks like this is the SAS controller. This is what controls the solid state drive and the speed. I have to see which model they provided on this machine. So there's a lot of things I don't know about this machine as of yet, but I'm definitely going to hook it up, start testing it out, do a live stream and, uh, you know, do a, I'm definitely going to add vCenter into this machine and add it into the SR550 uh, virtual environment. So I'm going to put the lid back. We're going to hook up the monitor and we're going to power it on because I want to hear this guy purr. Step back. There you go. And great. Snap it. Awesome. So I'm going to get a keyboard, mouse, and a uh, VGA monitor. I'm going to hook that stuff up and I'm going to power it on because I want to hear this guy purr. And I know it automatically has a Windows server operating system, but we're going to wipe that clean during the live stream. So do not worry about that. All right. So I hooked up a 24 inch wide uh, VGA monitor. I got a keyboard, mouse. I only inserted one power cable. Our cable right here behind you guys probably can't see it uh, monitor is on I'm going to turn on the power but I'm automatically getting a amber light with the exclamation point so that's kind of freaking me out a little bit so let's power this guy on and let's hear the power there goes nice beautiful 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 Alright, let's see, let's take a closer look. Oh boy. Awesome. Man, it kind of sucks that we only have one hard drive. Uh, it's not a bad size. 480 gigabytes is not that bad. I'm trying to recall how much was the SR550. I think the SR550 was a little bigger, but they only gave us one solid state drive on that one. It is taking a while for it to boot up. Uh, I think on the SR550, when we did the unboxing, I had like Windows Server error. So I'm hoping I don't get it with the with the SR570. That was kind of embarrassing. That kind of sucked. All right. So it detected 64 gigs, independent mode, usable capacity 64, two processors, 24 cores enabled, Intel Xeon, gold, 5118 CPU, 
with a clock speed of 2.30 gigahertz. <gasps> what? Loving that. I'm loving the specifications. The only thing I do not like is the damn only one solid state drive, but it's okay. The game plan that we are going to do, damn, and I got two warnings. I got to check that out. I'm already getting two system warnings. So, uh, I'm going to check that out to see what's going on with that. The game plan for the SR570 is hopefully by the end of the week, we're going to do a live stream. Uh, we're going to create an additional uh, VMware ESXi bootable flash drive. We're going to install the operating system inside the flash drive, boot inside that flash drive, and uh, use the 480 gigabyte solid state drive for storage. We're going to create our first virtual machine and we are going to create a vCenter. vCenter, once that's up and running, we're going to attach our SR550 inside our vCenter uh, server. Awesome. So we're going to have both SR550 and the 570 talk to each other running in a VMware environment. Super excited. Now it looks like I am having issues with the operating system. Another machine that's giving me issues with the operating system. Like, come on, Lenovo. Why are you sending me these machines with operating system problems? But overall, hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, unboxing of Lenovo's Think System SR570 plus first impressions of some of the information that I know so far. And what I'm going to be doing uh, this week, live stream and slash review on this particular machine so hopefully you guys stay tuned on that leave comments right below if you want to see something during the live stream dealing with this particular machine don't forget about hitting that like button and i catch you guys on the next one peace out